a nightclub. Eight years after that, the boys have blossomed to beautiful black men. Matthew is quiet, the typical artist, t-shirt designer, all pencils and pens. And Mohammed is charismatic, the salesman, print by print, stitch by stitch, in nightclubs or markets hawking their teas, free ones to kids and celebrities. A rapper wore one on the cover of an album and that was it, money rolling in. Limited edition runs of all prints and once they sold out, never again. The fastest selling shirt was a simple one. Matthew had drawn a white lake, such that the black of the shirt seemed like oil spilling into waves. On the back of the shirt he'd written, Dear Shell, Water No Get Enemy. Lyrics of the Fela Kuti song that everyone loved, its gentle rhythms like waves to the air. Beneath the writing, he left a space so who bought the shirts could sign their names and they'd wear this t-shirt letters to protest and campaign against the hell Shell caused. But they played wild with those shirts, some held together by wooden pins, some strung to wear just once, some of long thin detachable sleeves, some stitched entirely of leaves. I ah, remember those crazy things? Matthew wants to ask her, still frozen in the gloom. He imagines a smile might ghost Ayaz's lips. He doesn't speak. Fingertips grip the white box, shoulders droop deep, feet shuffle on the carpet. He recalls when they sold the 10,000 shirt. A nightclub, they celebrate a huge party and half a just city come their way. The journalists, stylists, competitors, all cramped in a bowel of the nightclub. Floor slippery, wet with hot sweat and Guinness. Strobe lights flickering the rhythmic and sizzling stretch of hot flesh. All who got to witness that night said that they were kings. 